Howdy, the Fritz 423 here. We've had a really wet spring and we haven't been able to bale hay, but the weather's improved and so I got my coon cutter hooked up to the John Deere and we're gonna get out there and make hay while the sun shines. This cutter is a three-point hitch implement and I'll do a different video here coming up on how to hook these things up. It's got a single hydraulic line and it's got a PTO, that shaft there runs off the engine and that actually turns the blades. The three-point hitch lifts the whole thing up and the hydraulic line simply swings the blades upwards. When we talk about the age of our equipment, we're talking decades, not, not years, like three or four decades. And people ask me, why don't you just buy new equipment? Well, think about this. If I go out and buy a $10,000 cutter, how many bales do I have to sell to break even? Well, the answer, of course, is 200 and you know that just doesn't work for us. The, the key to being a small ranch or small farmer is to be frugal, to do as much of the work yourself you can, all the maintenance. You just can't afford to hire this kind of stuff out. I call this a ro rotating cutter, but it's technically a disc cutter. There's three types. There's a sickle mower, which is a throwback to the past. It uses reciprocating blades. There's these disc mowers, and then there's something called a drum mower they use over in Europe. If you're just starting out, get a, get a disc cutter, a rotary cutter. Here I'm just topping off the gear oil. This old stuff, you have got to maintain it. If you don't, you're going to pay for it. Oops. I've got the curtain up just so you can see the blades turning here. Never run it this way. If you do, you're going to regret it. This uh, cutter will throw a grapefruit-sized rock about 50 yards. Always put the cover down before you start. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. You'll shoot your eye out. Oh, oh, oh. 